Welcome back, and with me is Steve Haynes with TruePoint Cooperative. Uh, Steve, can you talk a little bit about uh, what your role is at TruePoint and uh, what uh, TruePoint's doing here today uh, with the uh, meeting uh, to help the uh, members in the co-op? I've been with co-op uh, 15 years, and for 12 of those years I've been on the energy side, um, including the liquid fuels and the propane business portion of it. Uh, today we, well, for, for the last five years there's been some new different regulations and uh, laws kind of come into effect and we've had challenges sometimes making our farmer patrons aware of what's going on. Um, so we're putting on these seminars to help educate uh, not only the ag community but also the commu commercial accounts that we have of what they really need to do to comply with some EPA regulations. You know, uh, uh, you talk about uh, being in compliance with EPA regulations, and, and, and Doc alluded to it earlier as it relates to specifically to fuel storage. How, how does that, how does TruePoint's relationship uh, with uh, ag compliance work, uh, and what is TruePoint doing for the co-op members to help them get them in compliance? We're providing the information, I guess, and it's one way to put it. I, I've looked for years uh, to try to find someone that was really an expert um, in the area because even internally in his um, company our size we don't always have the time and the resources to evaluate all of the laws and the engineering portion that goes along with it. Uh, we came across to Ag Compliance um, year ago, well, last September and they came in and made a presentation to us um, and I was impressed with them and I thought man we need to share this information with our farm communities with our farm patrons. Steve, you know, when we talk about the EPA, uh, being in compliance with the EPA is very important, and it can be a very costly, uh, uh, detailed overlook uh, if you just simply think, ah, well, I don't have to worry about it. What are some of the costs associated if you're not in compliance? You have a spill, they come out there, you're not in compliance. Costs can be extremely high. Um, e even a small spill today um, can cost you ten to $20,000 very fast and been involved with uh, you know, probably about five spills, fuel spills the last five years, and, and they're not fun situations to, to deal with. Um, prevention um, is worth a pound of cure, and in this case it truly, that old wives tale truly does hold water. If you, if you have a spill and you're not in compliance, uh, and don't have a spill plan, you don't have a secondary containment, you're over those required gallons. Do you know what the EPA's fine penalties are? They're extremely large, and, and they can be extremely large. Um, each case with the EPA is um, handled on an individual case, so it can vary from um, $1,000 to hundreds of thousands of dollars. So for a farmer patron, we want to make sure that they're in compliance, and obviously TruePoint is the fuel supplier, so they want to make sure that their, that their name isn't uh, as well uh, uh, brought into a situation uh, where they didn't properly advise their, their customers as well. Correct. It's really about providing education, providing knowledge. Um, and also, even though some of the smaller producers may not need to do an SPCC plan, um, it comes back to being stewards of the environment and asking what if. What if my fuel tank sprung a leak today? Where would it end up? Would it impact my well? Um, would it impact the neighbor's well? And taking the steps to um, prevent that from occurring. Because the point was made in the meetings here today that, uh, you know, one gallon of fuel can really pollute a million gallons of water. And especially in our neighborhood up here, we know some of the challenges that we deal with um, when our water quality or our lakes are not um, up to, are not in good standing. Steve, if somebody wanted to look, find out more information about this and other things that, that TruePoint offers their member cooperatives, where can they go? Uh, just give us a call and go to the website, www.truepoint.com, or in, also off the website, any of the phone numbers um, to the Energy Department, and it all rings in together. Steve, thanks for being with us. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it.